almost through the first month in a new year and i'm going to take you guys through the pantry and the fridge and freezer um we have we do have two refrigerators in this house and then we have one big freezer and then like the two freezers that are attached to the refrigerator so i'm going to take you guys through all of that so you can see what we have on hand now if you have watched any of my past like let's walk through where I keep all the food and stuff like that videos in the past. This is the barest, like the least amount of food I have ever had in my house. <laughs> so um, I'm definitely feeling a little like, oh, if all of us got sick or like we were for some reason stuck in the house for, you know, whatever, if there was severe weather, I, uh, we don't have much so we're definitely going to be stocking up I think I'm going to end up sharing two videos with you guys this week So this will be the first one and then the next video should be some kind of grocery haul and maybe even if I can Like squeeze it in for this week. You'll get three I am going to do some meal prep as well or I'll just save that video for next week. So anyway this one is all about what we have on hand right now. I'm also going to share with you guys the meal plan. I've made that going, you know, getting ready to go to the grocery store. So let's see what we've got on hand. We are starting with our deep freezer in the garage. I am not good at keeping up with this. This is just a like a little magnetic dry erase board that I got off of Amazon and I just cleaned it up just so I know I'm going to try to be better at it, but this is just never something that I've been good at keeping up with, <laughs> but I did want to share it just in case you guys wanted to get more organized. You could try this out, see if it works for you. Um, it only looks nice right now because I just like cleaned it off and redid it. So, um, this is everything that we have in our freezer right now out here. And like I said before, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know, this thing is normally like jam packed but all through, probably the last three and a half months we have been working with what we've got on hand this is how stocked we are right now i use the baskets just to kind of help contain things so i can see what i've got so in here i've got some baguettes i already put this on the meal plan for next week i have this puff pastry and then i have a big bag this hasn't even been opened yet of rolls then over here we've got some meats i've got these cranberry and jalapeno meatballs i did put those on the meal plan for next week i also have i did have two of these but we've already eaten one this unexpected cheddar chicken sausage i put this on the meal plan for next week so we can utilize that i've got one ground beef and then some shaved beef steak coming down here I've got these mini cheesecakes. Then we have, I, I remember I picked this up because I was going to meal prep some egg roll in a bowl and I never did. So I might put that on for like a lunch option for Mark and I for next week. Um, so I've got, I think it's a total of three pounds of ground turkey there. That's just some ice stuff that Mark if you guys are new, he is my husband. Um, he likes to make mixed drinks sometimes, mainly on the weekend, but he like has all sorts of different kinds of ice and stuff that he uses depending on the drink that he's having. Okay, coming over here, we've got some cheese spatzel, some red potato wedges and onions. This is like an oven roaster thing. And then I love this stuff, crushed ginger and Oh, this should be garlic. Yeah, and garlic. I utilize this a lot in recipes. Just makes it nice and easy. We've got half a bag of beef meatballs right here. We've got some pecan pieces and pecan halves. Coming down here, I stocked up on the cranberries this year because the last couple years I had a hard time finding them, but I didn't in end up using all of the cranberries that I purchased this year. So I've got two packages that we can utilize. I've got... Um, probably about a third of a bag of french fries here. This was a huge bag. We are actually opening this. Oh, well, it's already been opened, but we're going to eat on, I think the rest of, mm, no, probably just half of this bag. So we'll have left leftovers. Um, but half of this bag I am going to be cooking for dinner tonight. This beef bulgogi mandu. Um, it is a dumpling filled with Korean style bulgogi flavor. And then we've got some garlic butter shrimp. I think there's only, yeah, there's only half the bag left in there. And then there's, 
um, five pieces of mahi, mahi left in here. We've already eaten half the package, so we're gonna finish this off tonight too. So we're gonna have this with some rice and the mandu, and then I think we're gonna have some like ranch style beans or something, I'm not quite sure, but um, we are going to be finishing up the fish and then half of that bag tonight. But that's everything I've got in this freezer. All right, laundry room next. I do have the dryer going, so hopefully it's not too loud. And this is what we've got in here. <laughs> so we have a big container of soy sauce. When I show you guys the fridge in the kitchen, you'll see like we have a smaller one in there and we just refill it with this because the kids love soy sauce. We've got some parm cheese here that we add on whenever we have like soups and pastas. Then we've got a sour cream and a cottage cheese. This is, Mark prepped himself some lunches for this week and this is what he's got left. So he's got some steak and asparagus here. He'll probably eat that tomorrow for lunch. And then we've just got some limes and lemons in here to add to drinks. And typically, I'm really surprised that there's a milk in here. Um, the kids have not been drinking as much milk this week because I buy two gallons a week and you'll see in the fridge, there's still a little bit left from one gallon. And this was a second gallon and it's been almost a week. It's been a good six days since I've been to the grocery store. So um, I definitely will only be buying one for this coming shopping trip. And then in the freezer, this side is completely empty. <laughs> and this side is kind of like our dessert freezer. So we've got some, Pearl really loves boba. So I've got this little boba kit in here. Um, these are macaroons that I bought and I never pulled out over the holidays. So this one's been open. I think Rose got into them the other day. She saw them in here, asked if she could have a few. So I'll probably pull these out for this weekend. It's my son Bryce's birthday party and um, he's gonna have, we're gonna have, you know, like extra kiddos in the house. So this might be a fun treat. I've got two boxes in here. So we'll definitely be able to use those up. We've got some vanilla ice cream. This is pretty heavy. So there's still quite a few in there. All right, I have to stock up on these. The next, whatever I see at the store, I'm gonna buy like one of every kind. These true fruits, the kids absolutely love them. So we've got the blueberries left, but I've had every single kind in here. Banana, strawberry, raspberry, um, pineapple. They love them all. So definitely have to stock up on those. And then in here, we've got one little thing from Crumble Cookies. This has been in here forever. I don't even know the last time we had crumble cookies, but if you didn't know, they have ice cream also. So we've got left that in here. I'm gonna have to open this and see if there's how much freezer burn is on there. And then we've got just a few little popsicles in here. So this is kind of like our frozen dessert section. All right, we'll go through the kitchen fridge last, but this is the pantry. And it does look like there's a lot of stuff in here, but it's all like baking related. I do have, a lot of cans still. Um, and this is where I realized like what we're not using. So I don't need to buy it in like bulk anymore. <laughs> I used to buy cans, like sets of cans at Costco or Sam's. And I definitely do not need to do that because we don't utilize them um, enough. So we'll start down here. These are baskets that I keep like potatoes and onions in. So I do have two onions and then two heads of garlic. Um, animal things are on the bottom, like dog and cat food and stuff like that. That's the dog treats. Um, down here we've got some nuts, a little snack mix here. We've got some peanut butter, Nutella. These little bars I bought for the kids, they weren't a huge fan of them. So I've been snacking on them and I actually need to like make sure I have one every single day from here on out because I think they expire like the middle of February. Uh, oh, there it is, February 11th. So I need to start eating on these. This was a substitution over the holidays when I ordered groceries from Walmart. I was looking for pumpkin and they didn't have it. They substituted the pumpkin pie mix, but I didn't need that. So I've, I've got this for whatever. We've got some honey and molasses down here. This is kind of like Mark's little bin. <laughs> He's got some jerky, some macadamia nuts, some zip fizz, uh, Tabasco, red hot wing sauce, these Quest bars, and he puts this in water, um, apple cider vinegar. So he's got that going on. This was an every plate meal we had, or I had every plate come, I think the week 
after Christmas or the week of Christmas. Yeah, so I didn't have to deal with anything and we didn't have one of the meals. So I do have some linguine here that I did already put on the meal plan for next week. We've got an empty bin here, some pasta sauce, breadcrumbs, sauerkraut, and I just got this in a German food box that I get every month. These fried potatoes with onions. That's what we've got going on here. Um, a bunch of randomness. So a roasted garlic bread spread. Oh, I need to, I have pasta on the meal plan for next week. So maybe I will pick up like a plain loaf of bread or something and put that on it. We've got some water chestnuts, tomato paste, butter chicken, uh, Mike's Hot Honey. I haven't tried this yet, but Mark has, and he really, really enjoyed it. And then we've got some barbecue sauce there. Um, I've got a vegetable recipe mix here, an au jus gravy mix, some yeast, baking soda, cornstarch. This is where I keep my spices. So I've got tons of spices. With all the like easy cooking I've been doing lately, like just using the frozen and pantry stuff I have on hand, I haven't like like homemade meals, so I haven't been using a lot of seasoning. These used to be like full, like overflowing, and now there's just plenty of space on here. So we've got some more seasonings here. These are the two that I use the most often when cooking. And then I've got more, like see there's so much space right here, but I've got more over here. Okay, coming this way, Mark just picked these up. He wanted to have them on hand. Actually, I think he had six, because there were some over here, so he's already had a couple, but these are just the Kettle on Fire bone broths, and he just heats them up and, and drinks them, like a little drink. He'll put them in a, um, he has this like Yeti mug that he uses, so he's just got some different broths here that he likes. I've got ranch style beans. The kids aren't a huge fan of that. Um, so that's one thing that I did buy. I think it was like eight cans that I bought last year, like earlier last year. And you can see we've, we still have four left. So <laughs> I definitely won't be picking that up in bulk anymore. Same with the black beans. I've got lots of black beans here. One can of green beans. This is crushed tomatoes back there. We've got SpaghettiOs. I just picked these up last week to have as a lunch option this week and I never had them. So I'll make sure I I eat these next week, but it's minestrone and vegetable. We've got some black olives back there. I did stock up on the pumpkin because I just, I thought I was going to do more baking over the holiday season and we ended up getting sick. So a lot of my baking fell through. So I've got lots of pumpkin there. And then we've got some gravy here. This was a mistake um, or like error in my favor, I guess. Maybe not really because I haven't used it, but um, Walmart gave me more gravy than what I asked for so i have lots of gravy here coming up here we've got some sunflower seeds we like to put in our salads and croutons um we've got some baking stuff so some corn syrups cocoa powder white chocolate melting chocolate here's all my extracts and some food coloring we've got some salt this is full of salt and pepper some more randoms here so mark loves sriracha and when it was starting to go around that like sriracha was having, I, like there was a limited amount or they only had a an, an certain amount and they were gonna stop selling it, <laughs> we bought quite a few. So, um, and it takes Mark quite a long time to go through it. So he's got this one that's almost empty, but then we've got another full one. And then I think this tiny one came in like a gift basket. Um, Mark, with his job, he gets gift, gift baskets from various companies sometimes. So I think this was in one of those. We got some vinegar, a second, this was a two pack, a second pack of the apple cider vinegar, some rice vinegar, sesame seed oil, some more vinegar over here. Definitely don't need any vinegar, that is for sure. I'm moving too fast, the camera doesn't wanna focus. All right, this sugar in the raw, I forget why Mark picked it up, but he got this, I think like two, two shopping trips ago or whatever, so he picked that up. Um, we've got some vegetable shortening. This was a mistake. I only needed a small one. There's only like two little uh, tablespoons missing out of here. I only needed a little bit. <laughs> and I wasn't paying attention to what I ordered online. So I have this huge thing of shortening. We've got some brown sugar up here. We've got brown rice, oatmeal, white rice, some oils, and then we've got chocolate chips and marshmallows. So that's everything kind of like right when you walk into the pantry. But our pantry is under our stairs so i do have more over here like i said it sounds like a lot but it's just like as we've been making meals 
really not that much. Um, baking stuff takes up a lot of space, that's for sure. All right, I have this bin up here. This is great. This is where I put all the kids' snacks, but you can see here it has these holes. So if we ever have anything tiny, I just put it up here. So we've got two little tiny things left. These are what, high chews? Yeah, high chews in here. We've got one Z-Bar, one little bag of Takis, one lone Rice crispy Treat. This I bought in a huge pack, so I won't buy these in huge packs anymore because the kids just don't like reach for these first but these are the peanut butter cheese crackers then we've got some gogurts here same thing bryce isn't a fan of these um the girls like them but they don't eat them as much oh look there's a little bag of vanilla wafers i'll put that down here that was probably hidden the kids definitely would have eaten that if they would have known so we've got lots of applesauce pouches in there the girls love those um, here we've got one little bag of Cheez-Its and then one little bag of vanilla wafers and we've definitely got plenty of popcorn. So this is kind of like I said, the kids snack zone. Then over here, we've got extras up here. So I'll show you where I have um, my sugar and flour. It's actually on the counter in the kitchen, but that's the like backup flour that wouldn't fit. We've got Nutella. We've got a mayo, a spray, and then another vanilla extract. This is just all sorts of sprinkles that we've got um, over here. I think there's only a couple left in here, but I found this over the holiday season at Target and the kids absolutely loved it, um, these little waffle bowls. So I think there's just a couple left in there. We've got our syrup for pancakes and waffles, which we don't have any. And then we've got, oh, there's only one, one lone pop tart in there. Almost out of our dots pretzels. These are so yummy. If you've seen these at the, at the store and haven't tried them yet, they are super delicious. I put some in the kids lunch box today. So definitely low on that. And then we've got some pops. I actually just opened this bag a couple days ago to add some to the kids lunch boxes. So we've got some puffs here. Goldfish, is there even any? Oh yeah, I'm surprised. We bought this a while ago. There's still some goldfish in there, some pistachios, and then I bought this for a dessert that I made on New Year's Eve. So there's just a tiny bit of vanilla wafers left in there. I was supposed to do something fun with this over the Christmas holiday, but again, just a sickness took our house and a lot of stuff I had planned fell through, but we've got these huge jet puffed marshmallows, and then we've got a lot of broth down here. We've got some chicken broth mainly, and then I think just one thing, yeah, that's beef, but the rest is chicken. So I definitely need to be making like soups and stuff so I can utilize that broth. Then last but not least, food wise, coming over here, up here is just dog stuff. I get it auto shipped from Chewy. So this is um, like extras that I need to fill up when we run out of food over there. Here's our cereal right here. It's kind of dark back here in the pantry. There's no extra light down here, but this is, oh, I can actually make some more of it. I made a peanut butter like cookie treat and I needed some cornflakes for it, but the kids don't eat like regular cornflakes. They like the frosted flakes. So <laughs> I need to, I can make some more of that treat with that so I can utilize that before it goes stale. But this is where we keep our cereal. So um, we've got a little bit, we've got plenty of cornflakes or we have plenty of frosted flakes. We did have fruit loops. Those are almost gone. And then we had these little cookie crisp thingies, but those are gone as well. Down here, we've got plenty of noodley things. This is like the easy go-to for the kids. Um, we did have like a ton under here. So we've definitely been working our way through that, but we've got the cup noodles, a few mac and cheese, and then various like ramen microwavable noodle things right there. Um, the water back here is just for emergencies. So we've got water bottles, but they just kind of hang out back there if we need them. And then these are all like trash bags and ex extra baggies, but that's it food wise in the pantry. Oh, and Polly wants to come hang out. <laughs> she's like, wait, the store is hardly ever like open for this long. So she's gonna check it out here. All right, I'll make sure I leave. I leave that door open. All right, yeah, the dogs want, I'm gonna let them in. I put them out there so I could walk through the pantry. This is where I've got the flour and sugar. So I've got powdered sugar, regular sugar, and flour sitting out here on the countertop. Okay, I also have the dishwasher going, but I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. It's fairly quiet. Um, typically, I do have fruit and produce 
or fruit and veggies out on here, depending on what I've got, like avocados, little grape tomatoes, bananas, that kind of thing. Um, but we are completely out. So I'll definitely be picking up some produce when I go to the store. And then if I make like muffins or cookies, little treats that don't need to like be refrigerated or anything like that, this is our little treat box. Um, I got it off of Amazon. I always get questions whenever I share it over on Instagram. So I'll try to remember to link this and the little rolling cart that I keep the kids snacks on. Both of them are from Amazon, but it is completely empty. Um, the kids finished up a few blueberry cookies yesterday. So I need to clean this out. So, and you know, think of something new to make. All right, and then here's the fridge freezer in the kitchen. We'll go through the freezer first. So this one is typically where I keep all of our breakfast goodies and like quick, easy options for the kids, like lunch things, stuff like that. So we are completely out of waffles, which normally I have waffles or pancakes in here because I make them in bulk. So I definitely need to add that to my meal prep list. Um, but we do have some potatoes left over. So I think I use this in a soup. Um, so maybe, but it's like hash browns with onions and peppers. It's also good with eggs. So that's why I keep it in like the breakfast drawer. So I've got that going on or like a breakfast casserole. Maybe I'll prep one of those also. And then these I like to put in the air fryer, these roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. Um, I just haven't, you know, I bought this so long ago. I haven't done it, but I like to put that in the air fryer and then make some like over easy eggs, runny eggs to go with it. These breakfast, um, they're bacon Gouda sandwiches. I actually ordered them. Oh, the dogs are playing now. They're having a good time. Um, I ordered them online from, I think it was called like food service direct. Rose is obsessed. Anytime we go to Starbucks, she gets the bacon Gouda sandwich and the last I mean like the last several months when we've been and it's I mean it's maybe once every two weeks <laughs> that we go I go to Starbucks a lot more than the kids do um, but the last several times that Rose has been with me they have not had them so I went online and I found them and it was like a box of 32 or something like that and this is what we have left and I ordered it um, the end of November I believe so <laughs> we've got plenty of those left and then this is kind of like the quick easy stuff so I've got some chicken bites in here some chicken strips there's maybe like seven mozzarella sticks left in here and then oh see it's beeping real quick but i've only got this there's two in here these little burger melts so that's all this will be gone by the end of the weekend for sure um bryce loves these things and like the chicken ones too so all right that's everything in the freezer we'll do the door of the fridge first it's kind of where the condiments are so we've got soy sauce, Chick-fil-A sauce. This is almost gone. Um, ketchup, mustard, relish, mayo, like your typical things. And we've got some, I just call it W sauce. We've got some W sauce. All right, look, here's the milk. Like, what the heck? It's because the kids have been having waffles and stuff for breakfast and not cereal. So we definitely have not been going through the milk. Um, so there's still almost half left in here. We've got some coffee creamer that's almost gone. This was also in my German box. I don't know if it is, it says malt beverage. I don't know if this is a beer because on the, I think I read like hops on it or something um, or like a soda. So I haven't opened that yet, <laughs> but that came in my German box. And then we've got four sticks of butter there. Okay, now I can open open the fridge. All right, and then I'll try to give you guys like a look. So, I mean, it, it's got some stuff in here, but we are, we're definitely not as stocked as we normally are. Okay, up here is where I keep like lunch meat and things like that. And we've just got a few like beef sticks and turkey sticks left over. These will definitely be gone by the end of the weekend as well. Um, I picked these up last week and I had like six of them. So I've got two left. I have one like every other day. So these little Chobani yogurts. And then this is like our cheese drawer. So I just shredded the, the block of cheese two days ago that I got two weeks ago or something at Sam's. So I just shredded that. We've got one slice of Colby Jack cheese left in there. And then we've got some mozzarella cheese right there. All right, coming here, this is where I keep like the bread items that are in the fridge. They just last longer than keeping them in the pantry. So I've got some bagels, some tortillas, and then this is a German bread that I picked up. I went to the um, base, the BX and the commissary with my mom 
over the holidays. Um, I didn't film it, I only got a few things, but that is one thing that I got. I love their German bread. All right, we've got some guacamole here. This is left over from our Taco Tuesday. This little um, avocado keeper or guacamole keeper works great because this has been in the fridge for two days and it hasn't turned at all. You can see there, so that's great. Pearl also loves to have some avocado or when we have guacamole, um, guacamole on toast in the morning. So this is our bread. We've got just a few slices of bread left. Our little bread bin is full, so I just have it sitting here. And then I normally buy my eggs in bulk. So the last time I bought a big like five dozen eggs at Sam's, this is what we've got left. I think this holds 18 or something, I don't remember, but we've got those left. Coming down here, we've got some bacon pieces some of the kids like to add in their salad. We've got some pickles here and then a sour cream. Some bacon, we've got fresh bacon. And we've got, there goes the fridge again, and we've got the microwavable bacon. And then we have like extra condiments because we went to, where did we go? We went out of town and I forgot to bring our condiments. So we ended up having to buy condiments. Um, so we've got like extras. Normally we don't have the extras in the fridge, but these are open. So normally they stay in the pantry. So we've got like our selection here. And then we've got the ketchup, relish, and mustard here. And then these are our like go-to dressings we've got the ranch and the italian both by olive garden i've got to close this real quick before we get to the bins or not the bins the, the drawers whatever okay and then in here i definitely need to clean this out this is where i keep veggies we are out i put the last few the kids got a mixture of carrots and we had a couple tomatoes on the little stand that's on the kitchen island the kids got a mixture in their lunch box today and then for fruit We've got some raspberries. I'm about to eat half of these when I have lunch today. And then I'm really surprised we've got some strawberries because normally the kids like snack on these after school or like after dinner if they want something else. I'll tell them to get a fruit or veggie and strawberries is like their go-to. Um, but there's still a few in there, but we'll definitely uh, not have any before I go to the store this weekend. All right, and then in here, last time we had Chick-fil-A, they gave us a ton of condiments. So I just keep these and we use them for the kids lunch boxes so i've got some mayo ketchup and one lone chick-fil-a sauce here we've got some baby bell cheeses string cheeses i buy these in bulk so they definitely last a while one lone yogurt i'm actually surprised this is in here too because rose loves these i just noticed something sticky somebody spilt something sticky it's right there too so yeah definitely before i Go to the store, I need to clean all this out. And then we've got a little bit, oh gosh, I need to close the door again. Anybody else get annoyed by the beeping? Sorry. Um, this whipped cream cheese, the kids like to use on their bagels. So there's hardly any left in there. And then cream cheese, we've got four bricks of cream cheese. And then I love these Brie Bites. They're so good. Um, I get them at HEB. I don't know if they're sold anywhere else. I mean, it's, I don't know if this is like a name brand, but they are super yummy on specific crackers that I also get from HEB. So I've got these, I need to buy my crackers so I can have that as a little treat. But that's it in there. And then last but not least in the door here, we've got some jellies, jams that the kids use with peanut butter sandwiches or on toast. We've got grape, apricot, and strawberry. I've got some tomato paste in here. A Little bit left in there. I love these tubes versus I have a can in the pantry. Um, I like this better because I feel like when I open that can, I'm gonna toss what I don't use. I know I'm not gonna put it in the fridge, I'm just gonna toss it. And you only need like one or two tablespoons at a time, right? Whenever a recipe calls for tomato paste. So this is great having the little tube. And then up here, we've got some maple syrup. Um, this I got from Thrive. I keep forgetting to use it, but it's infused maple syrup with cinnamon and vanilla bean. Yum, I've had that for a while. And then this is something that Mark every now and then will add into like his little cocktails that he mixes up on the weekend these little pearl cherries but all right that's it that's in this fridge all right so now that i've shared with you guys hold on i'm gonna i'm gonna take a drink real quick since i've been talking for several minutes now um i've gone over everything that i have on hand i have made my meal plan for next week january 22nd to 28th actually you get this is the week that you guys are seeing this video because I'm filming on a Friday <laughs> and this is for next week. So this is what we're having. 
the week that you guys are seeing this, we're gonna have some spaghetti, well actually fettuccine, cause that's the, I think that's the noodle, or linguine, I don't remember. I think it's linguine, um, the pasta that I have in the pantry with the rest of that bag of meatballs. I've got the tomato sauce already. And then I am gonna buy some stuff to have a salad with it. And I think I might go ahead and use that garlic spread. So I'll buy like a French loaf or something and just split it and spread that garlic spread on it and cook that, that'll be good. And you know, one thing that I can, another item I can get out of my pantry. Um, then I'm gonna make some crock pot chicken noodle soup. I basically have to buy everything for this, but it is gonna be a little chilly next week. And I was like, you know what? I keep getting um, a comment on a video. I don't know if it's from the same person or if it's different people, but asking for crock pot recipes, it's just, I just don't go for it that much right now. I use, utilized it a lot in the month of October and I shared um, a ton of recipes over on my Instagram. If you guys wanna check those out, I do have a ton of recipes over there that are crock pot recipes, but I'm just not utilizing it a lot right now. So when I was thinking of dinner ideas, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna utilize my crock pot. <laughs> so I am gonna make some chicken noodle soup in the crock pot since we are gonna have some cooler weather. And then I'll just pull out the salad because we never finish a salad. I'll just pull that out so we can finish that off. Um, then I'm going to cook those cranberry meatballs that are in the freezer. I'm gonna pull out the spatzel in the pantry um, or in the freezer that cheese basil along with a sauerkraut that's in the pantry and then I'll probably cook up a couple rolls too. This is like a hodgepodge dinner. I just kind of pulled from what we had on hand. Um, then that sausage, that um, cheddar chicken sausage, I'm gonna slice that up and I'm just gonna roast it in the oven. So we're gonna have like a, a sausage, not skillet. I don't know why I wrote skillet. I was thinking um, sheet pan. We're gonna have a sheet pan meal with the sausage, that potato and onion bag that's in the freezer, and then I'm gonna buy some broccoli also, and then that'll just be a quick, easy dinner. We're gonna have tacos. I've got that ground beef in the freezer. I've got taco seasoning. I just have to buy like all the fresh stuff to go with that. And then once a week, we always have leftovers, or sometimes I try my best to have leftovers for lunch because nobody is a huge fan of leftovers in this house. I don't mind it, but everybody else is like, Ugh, I want something new every night. Um, so I've been trying to utilize them for lunch. So if we don't have enough leftovers for dinner, we always do something breakfast related. Um, so we've, we've got those like eggs and bacon in the, in the fridge. I can cook those up or maybe I'll make um, with those potato, that little bag of potatoes, I'll make like a casserole. I think I might meal prep that casserole though, but so we, we should have enough for leftovers for dinner on Friday. And then Saturday, we're actually going to my parents' house for a fish fry. So that's one meal I do not have to worry about, but that's what I came up with so far. Whenever I'm meal planning, I always like to look at my like weekly planner to make sure what we have going on that week, what our nights are gonna look like, so I can kinda do my best at planning out what's gonna work best for dinner. Um, and then I did already start my grocery list, but I know I'm gonna pick up a lot. Like I'm gonna stock back up on meats because we don't have any, um, you know, we don't have a lot of meat left over. I'll probably use that ground turkey for some egg roll in a bowl for lunch. So yeah, I'm gonna prep some stuff this week. So we'll definitely have leftovers for dinner on Friday, but yeah, our, our freezer, I, I get a little nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I just, with you know everything that goes on, you never know when you're gonna be stuck in your house. So I like to have quick, easy things on hand for whatever the or whenever the occasion arises that we need it. So I'm definitely gonna be doing a stock up, but that should be the next video. And then, like I said, I'm gonna do a meal prep too, but I might save that video for next week. So this is just what I wrote down so far from what I know we need from the dinners that I wrote down. So I will be, I'll definitely be adding to this. All right, so that is everything in the pantry, the fridge, the freezer, all the things. We do have a drink, or like a small refrigerator out on our back patio, but that's where we keep all of the drinks. So like when you see me buy sparkling water and Cokes and the juices for the kids, Gatorades, that kind of thing, we keep that out on our back patio. Um, it's just easy access for the kids where, when they're outside playing and we got that fridge on a deal um, and we're just thinking like in the future when we have our pool in the backyard, we'll definitely be spending more time out there. Uh, we have that fridge for, <laughs> So the kids don't have to come in the house and then like get our floors are wet or anything like that. We also have like a tiny little fridge, tiny little fridge right there, uh, right there. 
and that is where all like the grown-up drinks are so when i pick up premier protein i actually have one left in there uh, mark has quite a few of his chocolate ones left but premier protein goes in there because i typically add it to my coffee and the coffee pot's right there and then like our wine and if we buy beer or anything like like the grown-up stuff the kids know that that fridge is not for them they don't need to open it at all so um we do have those two but those are like randomly stocked and not important when it comes to like what food you have on hand and that kind of thing you know so anyway with that i hope you guys are having a fantastic day if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you are new and i will see you in the next one which should be a fairly large pretty large grocery haul